Hi folks, how are you today? It's good to see you again. This is a pretty exciting day for me. And for you too, I think. I get to show you my new Sharpscape. This is a honing guide that I've been designing and working on for a long time and I'm finally ready to show it to you. It works with my side sharpening technique that I've been teaching for the last few years. And it has all these little wheels right behind the blade. And you can just get right on the stone and skate. Skate here, skate there. You can slip in circles, a little bit forward, out over the edges. I think this is the snowboard of sharpening jigs. It's pretty exciting. I'm loving it. You really can't get the angle wrong. You can get real strong leverage if you want it. You can even uh, work one hand if you like. You just flip it over, cut your burr off. You can do the joining technique, just like that. A little more honing on the bevel, ready to go. I mean, this is fun. I'll have to show you how it works. What it is, is this cylinder with the skate wheels right underneath it. And it's got little axles holding all the wheels and a big hold down screw. I added these little pin guides out on the ends. Just pop right out of there. And then the hold down will spin right inside the guide. It's got this angle gauge right in here. And you can put a skew chisel in it. You can put a skew turning tool in it. And you can even pin it right down in the corners at 18, 22, and 28 degrees so that a skew chisel will fit right inside. Setting up the sharp skate is a very easy thing to do. Simply take the plane blade, insert it into the sharp skate, and begin to tighten the head screw. Tighten the head screw until it's just snug so that the blade slides. And you'll find that inside the Sharpscape, just under the hold down here, are a series of flats with walls. Each one of those walls is a guide used to align the side of the blade. So that when the blade is inserted, it locks up against one of those guides and doesn't move. Tighten it down let it slide against the guide. You want to try to center the sharp skate uh, with the blade. And so we'll slide over one step and now it's nice and centered. And tighten it up just a little more. Now take the tool and raise it until you feel it make contact with the stone or wooden surface and just slide the sharp skate down until the wheels contact and tighten it. And that's really all there is to it. At this point, the sharp skate should be very, very close to perfect. What I suggest then is to put the sharp skate on the stone and move it back and forth just a few strokes and then look at the contact that was made. If you notice that the contact area is a little bit askew, then simply adjust the jig, just a hair, just, just a little hair, so that it makes nice flat contact. When you feel that it does, take an Allen wrench and snug it up. You don't want to tighten it, you know, very, very tight, just snug it up. It's a big nut. It really cranks right down on top of the blade. And now, it's held in there perfectly and you can begin sharpening. It's really that easy. If you want to raise the angle and sharpen at a steeper angle, then loosen the head screw, slide the jig forward just a tiniest amount. It's really a very precision jig, so you don't need to go very far at all. Snug it back up and then begin sharpening. And you can see we got a dark, thin line here on the stone. And that means that we're making contact right along the front edge of the tool. So we have created a micro bevel. If you want to shallow your bevel, 
then you'll need to loosen the head screw, back the jig up a hair, a little more, there we go, tighten it up, be sure that it's nice and square. Now it's hitting along the heel, it's hitting right along the heel of the blade, which means that we are now shallowing the sharpening angle. Really, you'll have to do that on a coarse grit stone. If you want to shallow out the angle, you'll need to go down to a stone about 500 grit so that you can take a lot of material and shallow that angle and then go right up. It only takes a couple of minutes to do, however, and you remove the blade. And that's all there is to it. Isn't that fun? If you need to make an adjustment, just loosen it a hair just a little bit. You can pull the blade back, push it forward, whichever you think it needs. Tighten it right back up. And you're skating. You can put an arc in the blade just by skating in circles and working the corners. Or you can go just as straight as you want to go. But the cool thing is you can work out over the corners and edges of the stones like I like to do freehand. And I'll tell you, this guide will train you to work freehand. Once you get the idea and it helps you build that motion into your body, then you can just lose the jig all together and you're sharpening freehand side sharpening again. So this jig will really train you to work really accurately and consistently. And if you're going to change your bevel, you can change your bevel using the jig real quickly. You can use it either way or a combination of freehand and uh, jig sharpening. Or you can do it all with the jig from start to finish and uh, be totally confident that your edge is exactly at the angle you want it at. Really simple to use. You know, Japanese plane blades and Japanese chisels have a taper. So I designed in this tilt feature here. And it doesn't really have any lateral play. It's all up, down, forward, back. And that works in the skew position also. And you can get a lot of tools in it. You can get a 70 millimeter Japanese plane blade. You can get a number eight smoother blade, Western style. You can get a one millimeter chisel in this thing or a great big timber slick. It's pretty cool, the timber slick. Let me show you that. Put this big bad boy here. Put it right on there. Get the angle you want. And you're side sharpening with a huge timber slick like that. Whoa, let's go to work. Check this out. Is that pretty or what? I need a big timber to work on. Folks, I've enjoyed talking with you again, showing you some more of my techniques and ideas. We'll be presenting a lot more information on our website, getsharper.com, with the Sharpskate. We really look forward to hearing your comments as you start using them. And uh, I think there's a lot of tools that we can sharpen with the sharp skate that we haven't even discovered yet. This is just a whole lot of fun, and the more I do it, the more fun I have. Peace and good woodwork.